Abigail, that's right. And this is the first time that they cleaned out the canal in three years. So, of course, there's all kinds of stuff in there. When I was out here earlier, I even saw some fish out here. One of the biggest surprises that I've seen here is, is the fish and the size of the fish. Last time we emptied it, we had about 70 catfish. They were at least two feet long or longer in the canal. Whatever you can think of, it's probably down there. We find uh, carts. If you look down the canal right now, there's a trash can in the canal. We're waiting to see if we find one of the lime scooters in the canal this year. Scott Copeland heads the cleanup efforts for the Bricktown Canal this year. He says they used to do this about once every five years, but now they'll plan on it once every three years. It kind of re-livens it up so it's cleaner and better for people to, you know, watch and look at everything that goes up and down the canal. It just keeps it clean. Copeland says once it's all drained and clean, it'll take about three to four days to refill. Refill this with city water from fire hydrants that are located around the canal. And I mentioned those fish earlier. Don't worry about them. They're simply moving them uh, to the river. Now the city hopes to have the canal refilled with boats back on the water by Valentine's Day. They hope to do this February 14th. Abigail and Jess reporting from Bricktown tonight. Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News.